Hello everybody, welcome to the British Bartender. My name's Andy Kirby and today I've been asked to do a video uh, by one of our regular viewers and today I'm looking at um, equipment that you can use or use in cocktail making and there is a massive amount of equipment you can get and um, I have the habit of being a bit of a collector when I get in, interested in a particular hobby. But there are some key items that you need um, and there are some extra bits which just make it a bit more fun and a bit easier to do. So um, in actual fact to make cocktails all you need is something to make measures with, to take measures with. That can be, you know, um, a, a plastic bottle, a plastic measuring jug, anything like that. And then you need something to mix it in and again that can be a plastic bottle if you wanted to or a container, something big enough to get your ice and, and uh, the liquids in and to shake it all up. So, but predominantly the main things that you'll get are you need a shaker of some sort and there are several different types. There is a cobbler, which is the, the traditional sort of, you see this quite regularly, it's a three part um, a shaker, which is a container which you put your ice and liquids in, a lid, uh, which, which you just built in um, strainer in the top, and a lid that goes on top. Now these are the, the fashionable ones that you see on home bars and things like that, um, and perfectly good. Personally, I prefer what's called a Boston shaker, uh, which is two parts, one metal and one slightly smaller glass. Um, you put your ice in one, mix a drink in the other, pull the two together, tap and make a seal, and then tap to take apart. Now, they, they, that can also be two metal pieces, like this one. Um, so, those are your choice of shakers. There's also a Parisian shaker, which is a cross between the two. So it's um, it's got th this part has a different shape and it fits on differently. It looks quite elegant, not as common, and a bit more expensive to buy. The other thing you'll need is a jigger of some kind, and a jigger is effectively a measure, and it'll either have the measures on the outside or on the inside of the um, jigger. This one is. Um, it's a standard jigger like that, but you can get things called Japanese jiggers. And uh, these are long, long and more cylindrical. They're normally a two ounce measure at the top and a one ounce measure at the bottom. And they'll normally have markings inside the, the jigger to, to show you. But with, you know, when you see a recipe and it says the quantities, it's about percentages. So if you have two parts spirit, then it'll say one part um, liqueur or one part fruit juice or something like that so that's the jigger. In addition to if you use if you're using the original cobbler this comes with a built-in strainer but that won't strain out small parts of ice so you will need a fine strainer with that as well and that is just effectively a tea strainer but I've got this um, like conical shaped one. But if you use if you use the Boston shaker, you will you will need a Hawthorne strainer, which is a metal disc with a spring coil around on the outside. And what you do is you put that on top of your Boston shaker, and you can limit the amount of um, ice particles that come through by doing this. And I generally double strain unless I'm making a tea or something where I'm not so worried about the ice coming in. Um, you'll also need something to make fruit juice, um, so your lime or lemon or orange juice. You can use these elbow um, juicers. I prefer this one, which you can pick up for about 20, 20, 25 quid on Amazon. And it's got plastic interior, which is easy to wash. Cut your fruit, put it in there, squeeze it, and it's got a little pouring. Um, spout on the side. Like I say, there are lots and lots of different uh, jiggers and lots and lots of different um, juicing things. You'll need a, muddle, a muddler. This is for things like a mojito, if you're going to muddle mint and things like that. So you'll have a mixing glass. It can be something like this. You put your mint in and then you, you muddle it. So you squeeze it down. So these are very cheap to buy. You'll 
also still need a bar spoon. I use these particular bar spoons which have a muddler at the end. So in an old fashioned, uh, where you put an, uh, a lump of sugar in the bottom of the gut, you just muddle it slightly with the end of this. But you can also use it as a stir, you know, as your bar spoon. And also for getting cherries out of jars. And there's a bar spoon measure as well. So um, on top of that, Ice is a really, really important thing in cocktails, as I've spoken about before. So you want a container to put your ice in. Um, and there's all sorts of different ice. So if you want crushed ice, then you're gonna need what's called a Lewis bag. And this is a Hessian bag that you put um, ice cubes in, form a seal, you use a mallet to smash it, smash it up, and then you get your, that's your crushed ice. Um, probably want an ice. Nice scoop uh, for taking your ice out so you're not touching it with your fingers all the time. Um, if you're gonna have things like a white Russian and things like that, you're gonna need a plastic bottle of some sort to um, put cream in, and then you can use this as an applicator. Uh, let me think what else is there. I use oh, some stuff I've got in the fridge, I'll just get out. So I use these uh, Kilner bottles for storing, if I squeeze some fresh orange or lemon juice or lime juice, store them in these, then put them in the fridge and it'll last for uh, a week, maybe two weeks in one of those. I use these dropettes. So if you're doing something like a Romeo and Juliet where you wanna put um, an absinthe or um, an Angostura bitter drop on the top of the drink, just use these like pipette things and then you can put a nice even thing in it. I use these atomizers. So if a if a cocktail asks for an absinthe rinse, you could take your glass and then you uh, you can spray the inside of the glass up with the absinthe just to get a fine mist inside the inside the uh, inside the glass. So like I say, you can go on and on and on. There's so much equipment. I love collecting it, but the key things to have, in my opinion, are. A Boston shaker, a decent jigger, whichever you feel comfortable with, whatever style it is you prefer, and something to juice uh, different lime or lemon juice or whatever with. And uh, once you've got that, then you can start uh, making your cocktails. Um, if anybody's got any comments or there's anything you'd like to know more about um, any of the items I've talked about today, please put. Um, uh, comment in the box below and uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like and subscribe below and uh, I'll see you all again soon.